Well, greetings, friends. This is Calabrios. You know that Floyd Mayweather Jr. was pouring compliments over the head of Adrian Broner last night. And between rounds of Broner's fight with WBA welterweight champion Pauli Malignaghi over in uh, Brooklyn, New York. Now, Mayweather Jr. was saying that Broner is the future of the sport and he reminds Mayweather of himself when he was younger. You know, compliments of Mayweather Jr. You know, seemed to be out of sorts with the reality that was taking place in the ring last night. Because Broner looked, uh, you know, for 12 rounds, uh, you know... And uh, nothing like uh, the future great, you know, um, Mayweather said that, uh, you know, Adrian Broner is truly amazing, he's the future of boxing, Adrian Broner is my little brother, both of these guys are great, a young Floyd Mayweather. You know, uh, Broner won the fight by a 12 round split decision or Mali Nagy, but he failed to show any kind of uh, Mayweather potential. Judges had a 115 to 113, 117 to 111. For Broner and uh, 115 to 113 for Mali Nagy, you know, it looked like uh, Mayweather Jr. in slow motion at times. But I can't remember ever seeing a 23-year-old Mayweather Jr. getting hit as much as Broner uh, was last night against Malik Nagy. Also, I can't remember Mayweather Jr. struggling as bad at 23 as Broner was in that fight. Broner doesn't look like a young Mayweather Jr. In fact, he doesn't even look like a Mayweather Jr. at 36. You know, Broner gets hit too much, his hand speed isn't good, as he stands stationary most of the time unless he's walking after his opponent. You know, Mayweather Jr. never fought like that, and still doesn't. You know, his feet are constantly moving. So, you know, Mayweather Jr.'s beaming about Broner being a future of boxing echoes out of Golden Boy Promotion CEO Richard Schaefer. He's uh, been spelling the same line lately, but if Broner's going to live up to their expectations, he's going to have to improve or show more in his future fights. You know, last night Broner looked lazy, as if he was just uh, doing the minimum to get the win. You know, I saw a fighter that was afraid to really uh, let his hands go for fear of gassing out or getting hit too much.